Hi guys, so in this video we're going to go over the DOM-based cookie manipulation. Fairly simplistic, but um, yeah, just opening up the page now. It's taking its time. Very good. And so here there is a last viewed product in a as a cookie that will indicate um, the the session. So here what you want to do is edit this cookie add it as an extension and then on the right hand side it should pop up just pin it as well just make sure it stays there um, and so if i go to a page and i have a look at the cookie itself i can see that the uri has been added into the cookie so if i go to a different page same concept only a different value matches the uri that's been sent over so what you want to do is try and use an iframe to then manipulate that um, uh, that cookie so quite simply just adding in the iframe source ID which is just the URI that you of the post or of the of the page and then you also want to add in the source as well as the uh, as the host so give that a save when you deliver the exploit, it does say it's successful. However, what you want to do, again, if you have a look at it, it's still showing that it's, on, it's actually still the old value. So go into a different page, doesn't work. You have to go, you see the product ID is changed that way. Um, same concept as well just if you're going to a particular page now what you need to do and again if you just go back into the exploit server you can view that exploit you can actually see the iframe pops up so that part is fine no cookies associated to this particular exploit but if you go back to the home page you do get that pop up which in turn, if you go into the value, it's changed to add in the print script. So hope that helps. See you in the next one.